Good day, good day everyone and once again we are back together. Now we're looking at question 10 which has to do with the photoelectric effect. If you haven't subscribed please just make sure you're part of the family and of course you can join in as a member now uh, where we've got you know some valuable perks you know in, in, including uh, you know uh, being part of our whatsapp group uh, as well as other benefits, which is the live uh, streaming that happens every Thursday for members only, okay, as well as the live chats uh, that take place. All right, so uh, let's get right into it. So um, in this case, we're looking at question 10. So they say to us, we've got light uh, that is incident on the cathode of a photoelectric cell connected to a battery and a sensitive emitter as shown below, right? They say what conclusive evidence about the nature of light is provided by the photoelectric effect. So please remember that the photoelectric effect is evidence that light uh, um, can behave as a particle, right? So it's the evidence of the particle nature of light, okay? Right, so in this case, um, we that is the conclusion that we can draw. Right, so now for the next one, they say to us the cathode has a work function of 3.42 uh, times 10 to the exponent minus 19 joules. Cal uh, define rather the term work function. Remember, uh, we say this is the minimum energy. Please allow me, I won't write this down. That's the minimum energy required in order to emit electrons from a metal surface, right? So, um, right, let's go on to the next question. They say we've got light of frequency 5.4, uh, 5.96 rather, times 10 power 14 uh, uh, hertz is shown onto the cathode. They want us to calculate the minimum energy, kinetic energy of the electron ejected from the cathode. Now, we know in this case, we're going to always use, uh, so we know that E is equal to omega zero plus EK max, right? So we're looking for, in this case, the kinetic energy, right? So that means we need to calculate the energy there as well as the work function, right? So that means that EK max would be equal to the energy of the photon minus the work function, right? So remember we're given the frequency, right? So this is going to be HF minus that work function that we're given, right? So we know that H is Planck's constant, that's 6.63 times 10 minus 34 in this case, multiplied by the frequency. Our frequency was given as 5.96 exponent 14, right? Minus the work function. Remember, we're given that work function there. They said it's 3.42. Um, so that would be 3.42 times 10 minus 19. Right, so let's try and find out that EK max value. So that's 6.63 uh, multiplied by, uh, actually, let's say 6.63. Let me use that exponent button there. Minus 34 multiplied by 5.96 um, exponent 14. Okay, and I will get the answer and subtract from that 3.42 uh, exponent minus 19. All right, so I get a value of 5.31, okay, exponent 20. Um, and remember that is our kinetic energy and so energy is measured in joules okay right please verify that for me and um, hopefully we'll get to the same answer right so the next one 
they say to us calculate the uh, or they say rather the emitter registers a constant current of 0 0.012 amperes uh, calculate the minimum number of photons of light that strike the cathode uh, in a 10 second period okay so in this case we know that uh, current is always equal to charge over uh, time or in this case we simply say charge is equal to current multiplied by uh, the time there right so we're given the amount of current okay um, which is 0 0.014 multiplied by the time uh, sorry 0 0.012 rather uh, so multiplied by the time and we know that uh, that was given as uh, 10 seconds right uh, so let me just write that and uh, multiplied by 10 there so that would give us 0 0.12 uh, coulombs so that's the amount of charge that you'd have there right but remember so in this case we're looking for the number of photons so that would be the same as the number of electrons that I ejected there so we're going to say Q, the charge, divided by the unit charge of an electron. So that's 0 0.12 divided by 1.6 times 10 minus 19, which is the charge of an electron. Uh, right, so let's take that. Okay, uh, all right, I'm trying to get this calculator out. Right, so I'm going to have 0 0.12 divided by 1.6 exponent negative 19. Okay, and we get that massive value there. Okay, um, as I did say, I want to change that to... Okay, so that's uh, 7.5 times 10... I don't know how many zeros are there. Let's see. That's one, two. Um, okay, so I want to actually get this in scientific form, but uh, yeah, for some reason, uh, the calculator is not allowing me to. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 okay right so um you can actually just express that uh yeah i don't know how many uh, was that uh, i counted 19 uh, but um, you can verify that for me right okay so um please just verify whether this is so all right and then uh, but the procedure just simply remains the same okay Right, so uh, the last question they say to us, the intensity of the incident light is now increased, right? How will this uh, change affect the reading on the emitter? Okay, and they say to us, will it increase, decrease, or remain the same? Uh, and we need to give an explanation for that. Now, please note, ladies and gents, what once we change the intensity, right, so what simply happens there is that it will change now the number of electrons that are emitted per second. Remember, doesn't change the kinetic energy, but it will change the number of, of electrons that are emitted per second, right? So the current will definitely increase, okay? Um, so... So let's just explain that. So that's 10.5. So it will definitely increase. All right. So an increase in intensity. Right. Will increase uh, intensity. All right. Uh, remember that intensity is the same as power. Right, so we'll increase the number of electrons emitted per second. Um, per second, 
okay? So in that case, since current is the rate of flow of charge, right? So the more charge is, um, uh, the more electrons are emitted, the greater the amount of current. I hope that makes sense, ladies and gents, right? All right, so that is how the cookie crumbles. So please remember um, to join, all right? Please tell your friends, tell your family, your cousins, everyone that uh, they can actually join in. Uh, and by the way, super thanks is also there. If you want to say thank you to Malume uh, for the great content, you are also welcome to do so. Otherwise, ladies and gents, I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.